Okay, here we are. Welcome to the uh, Systems Innovation Guide course. Uh, this video is a quick overview to the course and its contents. Uh, the course is designed to walk you through our Systems Innovation Guides. Uh, so these are a series of guides for learning about systems innovation, all the different ideas and methods and models and tools and so forth. Um, the course consists of 21 PDF guides, you'll find them on our website, uh, and there's corresponding one-hour video lectures which goes, goes over each uh, guide in more in-depth detail. So that's the format, we'll take a look at the content here. It's broken out into four main sections, I should say. Systems thinking is the first one. Uh, this is about uh, trying to change the paradigm. Look at things differently in a more holistic way. So uh, working with and embracing complexity. There's uh, four main sections there. We'll, we'll talk about those in a second. The second section in the course, it's on systems analysis and systems inquiry to gain a holistic uh, understanding of the system we're dealing with and map it out. Uh, third section is dealing with systems change, um, envisioning futures and points of intervention, and working with transition processes. And the final section goes into systems building and systems entrepreneurship, developing platforms for connecting people and resources in new ways um, and developing innovation ecosystems. So, yep, just quickly to take a look at that first section. Um, the course starts with an overview to systems innovation, the first uh, video and guide, and then we go into systems awareness in the second week, um, thinking about uh, kind of shifting from ego system thinking to ecosystem thinking. The third week is systems theory, all this holistic uh, paradigm. Uh, we go into complexity theory, network thinking, and complex adaptive systems. That's the first main section to get us thinking uh, holistically, doing systems thinking and understanding complexity. We then go into systems inquiry and analysis. In the second section, the aim of systems inquiry is to give us an in-depth analysis of the current state of the system. We start there in week six with systems modeling. So it's developing an overall model of what we're doing as a system. Uh, it's functioning, it's boundary and environments and so forth. Uh, we then do some systems mapping, uh, systems dynamics, looking at those causal loop diagrams and so forth. The eighth week, it's actor mapping, thinking about the actors in the system and um, their different incentives and power and, and, and models and values and so forth. Finally, we look at uh, the multi-level perspective for understanding uh, complex socio-technical transition processes. That's the second section. In the third section, it's all about systems change, how to intervene, how to influence the system, how to work with transition processes. And uh, we look at the three horizons model and a bit of futuring, horizon scanning, and so forth. Uh, then the two loops model, the Burkana Institute uh, for working with transition processes, leverage points, the Donella Meadows uh, points to intervene in a, in a system and uh, developing narratives for systems change in the week 13. So that's the third section, all around changing systems and influencing transition processes. The final section is on systems entrepreneurship and building. So the, the job here is to develop collaborative ecosystems that align diverse actors in new synergistic ways uh, to realize the emergence of new new macro level functionality in the system and shift it to a new equilibrium. So we talk about networked organizations. It's kind of the, the structure of these new kind of ecosystems, understand some of the dynamics there. And the week 15 goes into the value models, thinking about how to shift the value uh, flow, the value networks from individual business models up to whole ecosystem uh, networks and start uh, incentivizing uh, the ecosystem towards systemic collaboration. Uh, scaling is the uh, next module there talking about how to scale change how to scale these new networks and grow them uh, through a non-linear networked approach and finally impact how do we assess for uh, and get a learning feedback loop about um, our interventions and are we really uh, getting the systems change we want to uh, try and achieve here so those are the four main sections the 21 uh, guides and uh, corresponding video lectures and that's the contents of the course you'll find all the details below